But huh? it wouldn't be fair if I didn't warn you first. Warn me? Stanley, if I didn't care so much about you, I wouldn't... Warn me about what? I haven't seen a doctor yet, because I don't have any of the symptoms, so far. Well, symptoms? What kind of symptoms, huh? See, I had the steady boyfriend, Tacoma. I mean, I thought he was steady. Only he must have been cheating on me with somebody else. Only he didn't tell me till it was too late. After we'd been real close. But I broke up with him. Stanley, don't stare at me like that. It sounds as if I've got the plague. Exactly. You got me more surprises? <laughs> Surprise! Oh! Oh, surprise, girl. oh, you're home! Oh, look at you! You look marvelous! So do you. That oh. must mean that Frank is, uh, tap dancing already. Oh, uh, almost. Uh, but the leg is healing beautifully and he should be out of the hospital maybe by tomorrow. Terrific. I saw the, uh, light on, so I dropped my bags downstairs and oh. I figured Faith was home. No, no. Faith's at the movies with Patty. Uh, so you're here, they're out, you're minding the store? No. Uh, I'm still living here. Not for security reasons, I hope. No, for practical reasons. Raj, listen, I want to hear all about Sharon and the cruise and all of that. But first I want to tell you some marvelous news about me. They recounted the vote and you won the election. I wish. But wrong. But it's even better than that. Roger, I found out that my real mother is alive and well. And I also have a half-sister, a beautiful, adorable half-sister named Maggie. And she's upstairs right now. Maybe because you want to become involved. I don't know what I want. I go to sleep at night thinking about Joe, wondering where he is and why I haven't heard anything. And I'm scared that he's dead. I'm scared that he's alive and he doesn't want to come home. And I'm scared that I'll stop hoping. And then I wake up in the morning wanting to see Bill. I like being with him. He makes me laugh. He, he makes me aware of how much I miss being loved. And loving. You don't mention feelings. Do you feel anything for him, Shabbat? Affection? Well, I thought maybe we could go out and have a good time and keep it strictly platonic. And I, he knows how I feel about Joe, and he's accepted it, and that's... He's fine about it. Well, doesn't sound like a problem. It sounds like you've made a good friend. And it's healthy for you. Getting dressed up, going out, being sociable. Well, no. The problem is, is that it just won't work, a platonic relationship. It... 
Because I, I don't want it. Oh. Well, that's healthy, too. That's healthier. But I don't want to use it, Pat. Oh, why couldn't he be the big, insufferable, pompous, egotistical bore I thought he was? But he's not. He's not any of those things. He's, he's a nice, decent, lovable guy. You don't want to hurt him. No. Last night, we... I had dinner over at his house in Queens where I met his mother. You know what she said? She said that I was the first girl he's brought home since his father died. So he's really serious about you? Yeah. Oh, that makes it tough. Especially if you want to be fair. Oh, well, I want to be fair to myself, too. I mean, Bill is a good man, and if... Well, if Joe's not in my future, Bill could be. I... I feel like I, I've known him for a hundred years, and we just we just understand each other so well, you know? Mm, like with me and Faith. Yeah. It's nice. Nothing needs to be decoded. I know it. And it, and, and sitting there last night with his, his watching his mother and, and him, it was it was like watching you and my you know, all the joking and, and just the easy love between the two of it was it was weird, mm. Pat. It was it was really weird. I felt like I I was here. I felt like I, I'd come home and and then I do come home, and and I just ache for Joe. I don't know what to do. Anything I say will only add to your confusion. Say it anyway. I think you ought to go for the good times. You're young, you're alive, you're here. Bill's here. He likes you. You like him. I like him. <laughs> and who's to say if any of us are going to make it across the street tomorrow? That's it? That's what I think. What I know is something else. You and Joe had that once in a lifetime, you're lucky if you find it kind of love. I don't have to remind you the, the kind of hell you both went through trying to make it together. And I can't really see you letting go of that. Not unless you're damn sure that he's not alive. But how do I know if there's no one to tell me? If he's not alive, there must be some way to find it out. If he is alive and he's not getting in touch, I'm sure there's some good reason. Oh, God, thank you. Oh, you don't know how hard I've worked to talk myself out of that one. So, where am I about Bill now? So, what's going on? Hi, uh, we're just having a discussion about Siobhan's life. Yeah, it's what you call the magical misery tour with uh, yours truly on lead vocals. <laughs> and Bill Hyde. Who said anything about Bill Hyde? I'm good. And I, uh, I'd like to say a few more things, if you listen. 